Hey guys, it's Dollar Dr. Jennifer, part-time reseller, part-time veterinarian, and we're finally here with my LA haul. <laughs> I had so much stuff, uh, I just had to get stuff organized before I could do this haul. I will say, some of the stuff is already listed. So, and I have had two sales, so I will stick those in at some point um, to show the other items that I got that are no longer here with me. <laughs> but, I'm really excited. I had so much fun in LA, family time, lots of family time. And I got some really good stuff. I got to go thrifting with, if you don't know him, Scott Porter from Heart of Dixie, his wife. <laughs> I went thrifting with her and my cousin because they're good friends. So that was super fun. I went to the bins like three times while I was there. I was obviously very picky because I did have to bring it all back in my suitcase. I was flying first class back and I think my suitcase weighed like 50, 51 pounds. So I don't know if <laughs> I just got lucky <laughs> that I was able to get that through without having to pay anything. It was a good time. And the bins there, I'll stick in a little video here. It, the back of it was crazy. Like people are always, you know, some people like to say that, you know, we're stealing stuff, blah, 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 but this is what the back of one of the Goodwill outlets looked like in, Pan I went to the Panorama City one near Encino, uh, cause I was staying in Encino. <laughs> So it's crazy. It's crazy. I had so many issues while I was out there with my Airbnb and then they left me a horrible review saying that I was complaining, but it was like over 102 degrees and they didn't have AC, even though they said they did. It was a whole thing. Anyway, also I got recognized at the Panorama City bins in LA by someone that watches my YouTube channel. It was a very surreal experience. Shout out to Talia and her friend Joyce, who I spent a couple days with out there thrifting at the bins. It was great to meet you guys. Super fun. Uh, hopefully I will see you again if I go out there. I was just, it was just a whirlwind of a trip kind of, but I, this is a lot of stuff. So this is everything from LA. This is bins. And then I also went to a place called Value City. It's a huge place, a little bit expensive, but I found a couple things that were on sale. Uh, they did have like a color sale every day. I went there twice. I will say which place it came from. And then I think I'm gonna do an average, like just an overall cost of the trip. Yeah, we'll see kind of where I, where I ended up. Let's just get to it. I'm gonna start with bin stuff first. I did get a couple kids things, but these are things that I was listing myself, not for buy, sell, trade. This first one is Toy Story 4 St. Jack's, size 6X. That's the tag. And it's a woody zip up puffer jacket. I already have this listed on Poshmark. So cute. The only thing is that I didn't notice till later is it is missing something on this. There's like a film like there was a picture or something on it but I just disclosed that in my listing otherwise it's like in perfect condition and it's kind of a cool like puffer jacket for the upcoming season then I found this really fuzzy sweater it is Zara knit size small this is already listed as well and it's just a brown fuzzy sweater <laughs> it's very soft it's so soft but this is listed already on Poshmark. These are also already listed on Poshmark. These are Patagonia, size eight. They're just like kind of a cool abstract print shorts. I really have no idea what the, li the little design is, to be honest. I didn't even know what to put in my listing, but I did list these already. So just a cute little Patagonia short. This is also already listed because, and I think, I think Talia gave this to me. It is Joy Jolly Sweaters, size extra large. 
and it is a dear ugly Christmas sweater but this little camo is a pocket where you can put like your beer so that's really fun or I guess you could put anything in there but it's like supposed to be a pocket for your drink <laughs> so that is already listed on Poshmark I haven't heard of this I just really like this print to be honest I don't know how much this will actually bring in, but, oh, and the bins there was a lot more expensive, obviously, than what I'm used to. So my bins here is usually anywhere from $1.49 to $1.69, because I think the Greensboro one went up in price, but there it was $2.59, $2.59 pound. So that's another reason I was a lot more picky, but this is Deji. It's a size large. I just thought this, and it's a bodysuit, but I just thought this like celestial print was really cute. And it had these really fun uh, semi sheer puff sleeves. Really cute. And then it has like this big keyhole in the back. I think this is definitely someone's vibe for sure. Hello! <laughs> so that is why I picked that up. This is not listed yet cool hat kind of military style this is Christie's crown series size large it's wool and viscose I have not looked this up yet to be honest but it's this fun kind of cool military type looking hat where the top is like a little bit slanted so I do need to do some research on this but it was in really good condition so that is why I got that I just like the print on this one honestly <laughs> This is No Boundaries 2XL. The, the tag, though, looks, I don't know if it's vintage or older, but it's this really fun crane with pink suns or moons flying button-up Hawaiian-type shirt. I got it for the print. I feel like these really bold prints do fairly well. That is not listed yet. My cousin gave this to me. I, I think I'm going to uh, keep it maybe for a while. I don't know. It's Goat Yoga, the party game. And I haven't opened it yet because I was debating about selling it. But it literally has like an inflatable yo uh, goat inside that you do like yoga poses with. And it's some sort of like party game. So <laughs> if I don't sell that, I'm going to keep it and use it if I start my game nights again. This is Prana. And... I think it's a medium, but the size is cut off. And it's just a cute little cami tank top. It does have a built-in bra. And there is the other logo on the back. I don't know how much this will go for, but it was pretty small. And Prana, except for two skirts I have, seems to do fairly well for me. Found this towards the end of my trip. This is Torrid, size 26. And they're just a nice jean short. I've seen this tag before and like it was a skirt and it sold really quickly. So I figured I would give this a try. This is Pilcro Anthropology size small. And it's like a ribbed little gray shirt. It's not anything super exciting, but it was anthro, so I decided to grab it. <laughs> not that anthro does, like, super well for me, but, you know, <laughs> we'll try again. This is a really good brand. My friend found it before. It sold really quickly. I do need to get it listed. It's Tiki. And they're a size medium, and they're really cute daisy, like, yoga pant leggings all over daisy print with this high like thick waistband these are puma size large and they're just like a really tight animal print little short like shorty short see the animal print so and we'll see they didn't weigh very much this is 
Harry Potter 2T. And it's just a cute little t-shirt with all the characters on it. It says Gryffindor. This I have not listed yet. I do need to get that listed. This is a really cool. I don't know how much it'll go for, honestly, but I couldn't leave it. <laughs> the brand is Unique Vintage. It's a size small four. And it's like this jumper. Like you would have to wear a shirt with it, but it's a skirt. And it has pockets, but it's corduroy and it has skulls all over it. So I thought that was really fun. And the straps are a little bit adjustable. So that's what that looks like. But I feel like it's something you'd wear a shirt with. This bag that everything was in. This Levi's bandana bag. I was, I got the bag because I was trying to find something to put stuff in and then I actually looked at the tag and it's like Levi's Target. So I was like, cool, someone will want that or I'll just keep it and use it. One of my gooder finds were these and these are Rebecca Minkoff. Easier to see on the bottom. They do have some wear, obviously. They do have some flaws on them. But these are leather. They're a size eight leather upper. And they're a cute little pointed toe. They've got like a little stitching detail on them. They're a cute shoe. A little booty shoe. But they do need to be cleaned up still. So. I will, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be listing these for. I mean, they have definitely, you can see like the insides have had better days, but they're Rebecca Minkoff, so I couldn't leave them. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're functional still. They're not like broken. I don't know how much those are going to go for. I'm still on the stuff I got at the bins. Next, and actually some guy actually stopped me and was like, can I see that t-shirt you grabbed? And I was like, sure. It is MF Presents the Life Apparel, size extra large. And it's a, it's a Bone Thugs in Harmony t-shirt. It does have some wear and stuff. Like it's, it's a little crackly. I don't know if I'm going to sell it as is or if I'm going to bleach dye it yet. I haven't decided. I may list it and then bleach dye it later on if it's not selling. But it may sell either way because it's Bone Thumbs and Harmony. Oh, this is fun. So this is actually Journey. So it's extra large. It is a newer style. I forget. I have the stock photo. I'll throw it in here. But it is like a Journey t-shirt dress. So that's the graphic on it. And then it does have like a side slit. It is a dress. I've seen the stock photo. <laughs> so if you need a Journey dress, let me know. Uh, if there is anything you're interested in, definitely hit me up on Instagram or email me. My email is down below and we can try and make a deal. Because everything is for sale. This is a really cute skirt. Star Wars, her universe, size zero. I think that's like torrid sizing, if I'm not mistaken. But it's a go -go, go go little skirt. Baby Yoda. So cute. It has elastic waistband. I was going to see actually if it fit me. I don't know if I'll keep it though. This is cute, especially for the upcoming holiday season. It is pretty little thing, size 18. And it is true size. I can, it's actually probably a little bigger because I can wear it if, <laughs> if I wanted to. But it's a gold ribbed, semi sheer little cardigan with a belt, a belted waist. Really cute, great for any like holiday party. I did get some hats. <laughs> First one is this really cool Batman hat. It is from Six Flags. Looks pretty much brand new. 
like the brim hasn't been folded or anything yet to snap back. Pretty excited about that. This is BDG, size small. I don't know if I should have gotten these, honestly, but I did. And they are a short overall, shorts? Yeah, with a raw hem denim. And they do have some distressing as well. And we'll see, hopefully they sell well. <laughs> Just never know. This is Torrid size zero. And it's just a pretty little floral top. Semi sheer, I would call it. It's just a really pretty top though. The office hat, Jen. <laughs> it's uh, branded the office, 100% cotton. Just a royal blue hat, it just says the office on it. Nothing else. This is a really cool vintage sweater. Meister, uh, made in Hong Kong. Wool acrylic. That's the tag. And it's really cute. Purples and neon green and black. I do need to do some measurements because I don't remember if it had a size, but it would seem smaller than that size, so. I mean, there is stretch to it, but did it have a size? Maybe it didn't have a size. Oh, it said 14 on it, but I'm pretty sure this is not kids because it's, it's a length for an adult. So I'm just going to put measurements on there for that, which is going to be a pain. <laughs> Another fun t-shirt. This is Rolling Stones, the authentic tee from Cotton On, size large. And it's a cute little Rolling Stones women's t-shirt. It's got some stars and some studs. Fun stuff on it. It's like a mauve pink color. I don't know if that's coming across because I can't see anything. <laughs> Monster University hat with some distressing. This is Disney Parks adult. So just a cute hat. It does need to be washed. Did a bunch of hat laundry last night. This is Vineyard Vines, size small. I think this is men's, but it's just a t-shirt. Has the front pocket and big whale, red, white, and blue flag on the back from Newport Beach. So I think that will do okay. These are Volcom, size 34, and they are the true to this short. They're just like a black skater type short. Nothing crazy, but those tend to do fairly well for me most of the time. This is Airy, extra, extra large, but it is new with tags, which is why I grabbed it. And it's a cute little gingham pleated skirt. Brand new. I don't know. Eh, it's like got some schoolgirl vibes, so it might sell right now. This is already listed. This is Star Wars size large. And it's really cool graphic. It's in Japanese. It's like the Japanese poster for, for Empire Strikes Back one of the original ones so I really liked the graphic on this one and I had to hide it from my cousin's husband because he would have taken it <laughs> I wanted to sell that one this is also already listed this is kids Disney store size four and it's a hooded terry cloth little dress and it's Belle from Beauty and the Beast and it's got like an all over rose print and then this cute little skirt. And this is already listed on Poshmark. <laughs> I have to get this. I'll try and um, get this modeled by Rennie before this comes out. This <laughs> is size small dog. <laughs> and it's an adorable rainbow dinosaur costume. 
how stinking cute is this? I was like, yeah, this is, I have to get this. Uh, maybe Remy will wear it this year. I don't know. We'll see. But he will be modeling it probably for the pictures. This is WWE 2X. And I don't know much about who this is, but hustle, loyalty, respect, never give up. I have to do some more research on it. And it says never give up on the back. So, yeah. <laughs> WWE stuff does seem to have a good following. This is already listed. It's Outdoor Voices, and it's just a canvas reusable bag. I will stick in here the two things that already sold. One was a pair of shorts from Outdoor Voices, women's, and the other was a pair of leggings uh, from a brand I had not heard of before. I actually asked Talia about it because they felt really nice, like Lululemon. So we looked up the logo because there wasn't like a brand name on it and those sold really quickly and I did have a flaw as well. Oh, they were, I think, in my last What's Sold video, if you saw that. Those are what's sold already. Then I have this Marvel 3T. I think this is already listed as well. This, yeah, this is new with tags and it's got superhero and then on the back it has all sorts of them and it says feeling super really cute little raglan shirt this is patagonia size extra large it's the responsibility and it's just a like pink short sleeve shirt and that has a big logo on the back I've not listed that yet. Another Star Wars shirt, size large, and it's got a really cool graphic as well. It's Darth Vader and the Death Star. Love Star Wars. Another Star Wars shirt. I found a bunch the first day. This is also size large, fifth son. And I just did like the graphic on this one as well. This is Darth Vader, Boba Fett, Luke, all the stuff on it. So I did get that one. This is already listed. It's Polo Ralph Lauren Kids, size six. And it's just a cute little plaid button down shirt. Great for the upcoming fall. So that is listed already on Poshmark. This is as well as H&M size 40. And it's a cute little like velvet fleece pullover. It has a unicorn sequined. And like if you do the this, it changes colors. So super fun. It has two different looks depending on which way they're going. And it's like a rusty color. These are Topshop Mom Waist 30, Link 30. And they're a white, not a white, pink, stonewashed jeans, mom jeans. They're a little bit heavy, but I really like the style. I did find the stock photo for those as well. They are not listed yet, though. This is Pendleton in Star Wars. I've never seen that before, so I had to grab it. Size medium. It's a Star Wars shirt, but it is by Pendleton. It even says it on the uh, sleeve. Star Wars and Pendleton. So that was interesting. Cool graphic. The OG. OG uh, Star Wars. I got this just because it was new with tags. <laughs> It is express size extra small and it's a velour little K 
cami tank top, like a grayish color, gray blue, but it is new with tags, price of like 50 bucks. So this would be cute for holidays as well. I got this Brandy Melville size tiny. It's a little lace bra. I literally weighed nothing. I did find a bunch of Brandy Melville the first day I was there. This is really fun. This is Snoop Dogg by Cotton On, extra small. And it's a Snoop Dogg Christmas sweater, sweatshirt, hoodie sweatshirt. It looks brand new. And it says Merry Chris, I was like, Chris Mizzle. <laughs> and it's got Snoop Dogg and a Santa hat. And it says Long Beach, California. So I thought that was fun. This is already listed. It is Harry Potter and H&M, size 3 slash 4T. And it's a cute little headwig dress, sweatshirt top, and then it's like cute little skirt. And headwig is like fuzzy. So really cute little dress. Had a lot of interest already, but no one has wanted to pay for it yet. <laughs> I found a bunch of these, but this one was in the best condition. So I only got this one, I think. This is Free People. And it's a size medium. And it's just a ribbed little green tank top. They found one in like four different colors, but it has like this. I don't know if you can tell. It's got like, it looks like worn, but I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to look. And the other ones just looked a little worse. So I only got one of them. So we'll see. These are also already listed. This is the first thing I found when I got there. It was Pilcro Anthropology High Rise Boot Cut, size 32. A lemon all over design. Lemons and floral. Really cute jeans. And yeah, these have already been listed. I've had a couple people like them so far. This is Athleta, size extra, extra small. So I'm not super happy about the size, but it's a cute little animal print, little top, little crop top, the racer back. There's not much to it. I did find a stock photo for it already though. This is another Brandy Melville, you know, no size. I just have to do measurements because they're tiny, but it says girls on it and it's like weird graphic <laughs> little raglan ribbed t-shirt for someone very small <laughs> i did find one i think oh, this is the only pair of lululemon i found of course it doesn't have a tag the size is a four i don't know which style it is yet but they're like pant longer leggings and there is the lululemon they are not a high rise. They're a very short rise. <laughs> so I'm not sure how these will do, but you know, it's Lululemon. So how do you grab it? This I found my first day. I was really excited. It's a really cool jacket. It's hyperspace. It is new with tags, size small. Some of these are selling really well, but it's like a windbreaker, a NASA windbreaker. Where's the, and it's like this silver and white it's got flags down the sleeves and oh here's the NASA right there and then the back is just silver it's really cool it is new with tags so I have high hopes for that one it's very lightweight too this is Brandy Melville again it was a little ribbed crop top. Nothing really too exciting there. This is already listed. It is the Mountain. And it's a size small. And it's a cute little rust colored tie-dye little dinosaur t-shirt. And I did already list this one. Really fun graphic. So that is on Poshmark already. 
This is Eileen Fisher, size medium. It's like a very bright orangey type color. It's just like a tunic top. Nothing like super crazy fancy, but I'll take Eileen Fisher. This is already listed as well. This is Koala Kid, zero to three months. And it is this cute little floral knit sweater. It's button front. It's got this little ribbon at the waist. It's just really cute. <laughs> All right, this is very retro looking. I don't think that it is vintage though. It's Nike size large. And it's like this fun, it's sweatshirt hoodie. And then this part is like windbreaker material. And it's like got that retro color blocking to it. And then it has the Nike on the front. And then this tag here. Maybe it is vintage, I don't remember. No, it's from 2008. So it's not vintage, but it's on the edge. But it's a really cool jacket. I think someone will really like that. And then I found these really fun shoes the first day. Shoes there were a nightmare. Their shoe bins are the worst shoe bins I've ever seen in my life. It's literally just chaos, just complete chaos. But these are Fauci by Fauci. I don't know if you'll really see that. But I just thought they were really cute. They've got like a little bit of a scuff right there, but otherwise they look pretty much brand new. They have a zip in the back. I have not listed these yet either. I do need to. So this is still stuff from the bins. <laughs> and then I think this might be the last thing. This is also Journey size 2XL. And it's a really cool bleach dyed Journey t-shirt. It says um, Infinity on it. I don't know if someone did this or if it came like this, but it's really done well. So that's a really fun graphic t-shirt. And two more things. My cousin gave me this. This is Topshop, size four. It's a cute, just cute zebra skirt with a belt. I'll throw in the stock photo with little slits. That's from her personal closet. She's just getting rid of stuff. And I found this really cool Friends silk scarf. It is 100% silk, but it's just a cool all over print. I do have this listed already. I'm interested to see how it does. I did list this kind of high because I didn't see anything else like it. We will see. So that's everything from the bins, I think. Because I did list some stuff, so it might be elsewhere. But then I went to Value City where things are a little bit more expensive. I did find this really cool Hodgson pure merino wool scotland and it's like this greenish wool sweater uh, men's it's really good condition and it is i think 100 percent wool yeah pure new wool made in scotland uk this is listed already i then bought this have you seen in some of my shows and whatnot? <laughs> Literally whatnot. I bought this huge bag of socks. <laughs> they're all new with tags. I got it because I was going to use some for myself. But they're Facebook socks. Like color block Facebook socks. Bought this whole bag. I forget exactly how many pairs. There's, I feel like it was like 20 something pairs for like $5 in tax. So that was a good find. <laughs> Mostly because I, I was getting socks Partly socks for myself. <laughs> this I just listed yesterday. It's just Bella Canvas. It's a size large. I'd say it's a fitted large. But it says, get in loser. We're going park hopping. And it has all the different Disney parks at the bottom. Really cute. Did pay up a little bit for that one. I actually got this for me. But it didn't fit right. So 
I did list this for sale yesterday. It is Zaya extra, extra, extra large. And it's this like disco ball oil slick sports bra with a little keyhole in the back. I really like, it's just so cute. It's pretty, you see how a little oil slick. I did get this mother, don't sweat it. And it's a size, size extra small. And it's just an animal print sweatshirt. My first time finding mother. It was on sale that day. I got really lucky, but I still paid up more than I would have normally. Uh, the Outdoor Voices that sold also got there on sale. I did get this really cute Christmas cat scarf as well. And I did pay a little bit more for it than I normally would, but it was really cute. And I do think this will sell. It's the season for it. And it was, I didn't know if it had, I don't think it has a brand. No, it is just polyester, but I just really liked it. Because look how the cute Christmas cats. <laughs> Hopefully that will sell for a little bit. I think that's everything. I can't remember, like, it was a while ago now. But I'm pretty sure that's most of the stuff I got. Oh my gosh, this is a very long video. Thank you for watching, if you made it through the whole video. <laughs> I had so much fun out there, it was so nice meeting people. It was really weird getting recognized in like a state across the entire country because I live in North Carolina. And I actually made fun of my cousin who is an actor. I told him, my cousin's husband, uh, I was like, why am I getting recognized out here? <laughs> You're not. <laughs> he didn't think it was as funny as I did. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for watching. As always, subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Hit the thumbs up. And remember to help control the pet population and have your pets spayed or neutered. Bye, guys.